Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a champagne cut crease. This is one of my most requested looks. So today I've decided to film it for you guys. So I'm just starting off with brows. I've just used a Zoeva brow brush and used the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade in medium brow to fill in her brows. I love this brush because it makes that outer end really sharp and really crisp. After that, I just go in with a foundation. I just use my Estee Lauder Double Wear in Rattan to prime her eyelids. Then I just softly pat it out so it doesn't, doesn't become too wet and then um, blend it out with a beauty blender. So just using the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills for these shadows. I absolutely love the formula of these shadows. And I just want to make sure that everyone had set the eyelids properly because if not, the shadows will stick to any wet areas of the eyelid. And I just used a Zoeva soft blending brush to place the shadows on her eyelids. So now I'm just grabbing my Stila Shimmer, I'm not too sure what the name of it is but I'll look at it in the bio down below. I use this to cut her crease and this is just a beautiful champagne colour. To set it, I mainly set it with another pigment on top just so it's not too wet. Now using my NYX matte liner, I love the formula of this liner and it's just the brush on this is so sharp and precise and it's definitely affordable for anyone wanting a really good liner.
Now popping on some NYX liner. This is in the shade Black Matte. I love matte liner. I don't know why I don't like the Vinville one, but I like the matte one the best. Once I finish her liner drying, I just coat her lashes with some mascara, then popping my own line of lashes, Cleopatra, on her lashes. This just changes the look automatically. You can either pop really natural lashes and make it like a natural look, or you can make it really dramatic and put a set of really dramatic lashes. She has amazing blue eyes, so I really wanted to make her pop. And this is a little trick if you have a client that is really, really sensitive. Definitely just pick up some moisturizer on a baby wipe and that will pick up any fallout underneath the eye and gently removing it. Sometimes if you tug on the skin too much, that's where we age. That's under the eye area is where we age first. So we want to be really, really gentle down under that area. Now using a Real Techniques Beauty Blender, I'm just going to be popping Estee Lauder in the colour Cashew. She's really tan, so this is just the perfect colour to match any tan. And I just love the way it finishes on the skin. And if you're going to be using a Beauty Blender, it does give much more of a dewy effect. If you use a brush, it'll give more like a matte effect. So now to highlight, I'm just using my NARS Creamy Concealer in the colour Vanilla and I'm just using this to highlight the highest points of her face. So that's 
on her forehead, on her chin, on the bridge of her nose and under the eye area. I love to use the Soul Weaver buffing brush and it's like a concealer one. It's really soft and gentle for under the eyes. And what I love about this concealer, it doesn't create wrinkles. So it doesn't slide into those pores and those wrinkles when it starts to dry. It's super, super creamy. Then now I am contouring with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick in Coca. Absolutely love this product. Now once all that is blended out, now I just grab the beauty blender and try to beauty blend all that concealer underneath. And it's okay if under the eye area is not the best because we're going to be popping that eyeshadow underneath. Now setting her face with my MAC Cosmetics powder in NC30 and just with a big flat brush. Now highlighting her face with the Anastasia Beverly Hills slash Amrezy highlighter. I think this is a beautiful highlighter and I think it can match any skin tone colours. I like to highlight just a little bit more, just with a goldy highlighter, you could probably use the gold one by MAC, I can't really remember what it is, but this one was a limited edition one, and just popping this on her chest to make her a glowy goddess. Now popping some shadow underneath the eyes, 
I really like to make it really smoky. But what I like to do, so it does not fall out, I dip it in the eyeshadow, then I put it on my hand just so the fallout from the brush can go on there, then I put it underneath her eyes. So now to just blacken out her lash line, I'm just grabbing Squid by MAC and it's like a black crayon. Make sure you give your clients breaks so they don't tee on you and wreck all your beautiful work. I make sure I do that with my clients. But if they find that they're going really, really good, I just go shabam, shabam, shabam and do it really, really quickly so they don't water. I think that is a really, really good tip. Definitely invest in a really good crayon. Don't use pencil. I feel pencils are so harsh under the, underneath the eyes, especially that... If you're using a ring light from, of some sort, especially that I'm using one now, it's just so bright and blinding. And I also make sure I put it on the top lash line too, just to hide that white underneath. Then for her lips, I'm using Bombshell by Huda Beauty and I love this shade. And I would made sure I, take, I took off all her foundation on her lips so it really stuck on her lips properly. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep updated with me and talk to you soon. Bye!